Okay, in this video I'll be showing you how to bake normal maps inside of Blender 2.76. As you can see, I've got two models in front of me, a low poly and a high poly. For this tutorial, I'll provide the Blender files for you to use so you can follow along. Otherwise, you can use your own models. Either way, that's fine. First thing you want to do is make sure you've named both objects appropriately. So make sure your low poly is named low poly and your high poly high poly. Uh, at the end of the day, as long as you name it something that you that makes sense to you and will help you to dis distinguish between the two, that's all right. First thing you want to do now is select um, your low poly and make sure that it's centered in the grid. So as you can see, if you click on this tab over here or this icon with this cube, you can see under location it's all set to zero, which means that the object is in the center of the grid. Right click on your high poly. For those of you who haven't used Blender before, you don't left click to select objects in the scene, you right click. So right click to select your high poly, and as you can see, this is not set to zero. So left click on that, press zero on the keyboard and enter, and that will set it to the same space or the same position as the low poly. Then next thing you want to do, click on this icon, which looks like a camera, and make sure that first what you want to do, just collapse everything so you've got it like this, and just leave it like that for now. We'll come back to that. Just for, um, you know, to keep things neat, just collapse everything. Then go over to this um, icon, left click hold, and drag your mouse to the right, and that will create a new view. With your low poly selected, click on this icon and select UV Image Editor. Now we need to create an image for our normal map to be baked to. So click on this icon which says new and call it whatever you want. I'll call mine a normal map. You can leave these as default or you can change that. If you want a 2K map, you can set it to 2048 and click on OK. Leave the rest as is. That's just going to create a blank image for us to bake to. If you're in Blender Render, which is usually the default one when you open up a, um, a new Blender file, left click on that, you want to change it to Cycles Render. Because the, the way I bake normal maps, I've always used Cycles Render. I have tried in Blender Render and it hasn't baked. So it appears to me that Cycles Render is the way to go. Okay, now in this view, left click on this icon and choose Node Editor. There's nothing at the moment, so what you have to do is click on this button which is new and it's next to this material icon. Then press Shift and A. You'll bring up this menu and go to Texture and select Image Texture. Left click once you're happy with the position where you want to place it, the little box like that, and it'll be placed. Now click on this icon and select normal map. Now that won't be called normal map for everyone so depending on what you named your object uh, that will show up in this menu. So if you named your object um, normal bake or something like that it will show up as your normal bake. Okay. Then click on this icon again and go back to UV image editor. An important thing to remember when baking normal maps is that you have to unwrap your model first. I've gone ahead and unwrapped my low poly before if you want to view your, um, your UVs in this view, make sure that you've selected your low poly and change the mode from object mode to edit mode and that will display your UVs. Now if you're already in edit mode, right, and your low poly is not selected, your UVs won't show up. So if you want your UVs to show up, make sure that your entire object is selected and you can easily do that by pressing A on the keyboard and that will show your UVs. Okay, let's come back to this, these options and let's um, expand the option called Bake. Okay, the settings you want to enable, alright, is first of all, your bake type. By default, I think it's set to, um, let me, actually hold on, one more thing. Before you make changes in this menu, switch back to object mode. Okay, so it's just better that way for now, right? So, bake type, right? You want to set that to normal. Okay. Um, you want to leave the margin uh, as default. This usually um, determines how far the normal map 
will bake around the edges. Um, I could show you sort of a comparison near the end, but leave that to 16 for now. Make sure that clear is selected, and this will simply clear any bakes that you've previously done. I leave all of these normal settings as default. For ray distance, you can set it to 1. Um, and make sure that selected to active is uh, checked, right? So what this option will do, it will tell Blender what object needs to be baked, right? And to what object it will be baked to. So you want to select the high poly first, because that's the object you want to receive the you know the normals from or the or the detail from, and you want to bake that onto your low poly. So then, holding on the shift key, shift key, you click on your low poly object. Now in Blender, when you want to select multiple objects, you have to make sure you're holding down the shift key when you do that. So once all that is selected, making sure you're in cycles render, everything set is set up. Click on bake. You'll see a little progress bar at the top and an indication that your baking your that your bake has been completed. So as you can see, there is our normal maps. If you want to go and save this normal map, you want to go over to this text which says image. Click on that and say save as image. And choose a destination where you want to save that. Um, choose a file format. Usually for normal maps, the standard is Targa or TGA. And then select save as. So, so there we have the normal maps baked out. Now, just to maybe do a bit of a demonstration of, say, what happens when you change the margins. I'm going to change the margin to, say, 2 and I'm going to bake it again and let's see what happens. So as you can see in the previous bake those edges extended a lot further out. So this margin dictates how far out they go. So the higher this number is the further out they're going to go. And that's how you bake normal maps inside of Blender.